This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Hi, I'm Noah Benazwitz, and this is my one minute reflection. When it comes to prayer, it's easy to get caught up in the excitement and confusion of big moments. Powerful experiences can feel like signs from God, like proof that we should or shouldn't do something. Big swings in our emotions could be overwhelming, leaving us feeling lost and unsure. In today's gospel, we hear about a similar experience. After witnessing the transfiguration of Jesus, St. Peter is terrified and hardly knows what to say. In the midst of his confusion, Peter says it is good that we are here and decides that they should build tents. Peter's intentions are good, but God extends a different invitation. He doesn't want the disciples to do anything extreme. He doesn't even ask them to share their experience with anyone. His invitation is simple, to look at Christ and to listen to him. Perhaps we can take this as our own invitation for the rest of Lent. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are good things, but they're not things we simply do. How might these serve as tools, helping us to look at Christ and to listen to him more intently?